how to fix slow at anti-fiber internet, and dropping YFEM here with On Point Technical, and in this video I am going to show you how to fix slow ATNT internet, and also dropping Wi-Fi connection. This is actually a pretty big problem that a lot of people are facing nowadays, and there are some solutions for it. I'm going to be sharing those with you in this video. So stay tuned till the end. Welcome back to my channel everyone. If you're new here, welcome to my channel where we make technology easy for you. Now, before we start, please click the like button so that you help me out. It goes a long way. And don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. With that being said, let's begin. Now, when you experience slow internet speed or dropping Wi-Fi connection, most people usually call their internet service provider or ISP and ask them to come out and do something about it. But the fact is that sometimes they are not even the problem. The problem could be your device or your home network. So before you go calling your ISP and wasting your time, try these methods. They are listed below and they will definitely fix your problem. And in this video I'm going to be explaining them to you one by one. So stick around. So the first thing that you should check is your devices. Yes, your device could be the reason why you are having slow internet speeds or maybe dropping Wi-Fi connections. How do you know if your device is the problem? Well, it could be the problem if you've noticed that only one device has slow internet speeds or dropping Wi-Fi connection and other devices are working perfectly fine. Okay, now what could be the reason? Well, your device might have accumulated data over time or there might be a setting which could be affecting your internet performance. Let's start with clearing the cache and data of your network adapter. For Windows, you can do this by pressing the Windows key and R at the same time. Then type CMD and hit enter to open command prompt. In command prompt, type ipconfig slash flush DNS and hit enter. After that, restart your PC and see if it fixes your problem. Now, if you're using Mac, you can reset your network settings by going to System Preferences, Network, then click on the Advanced tab and finally click on the Reset Now button. After that, restart your device and check your internet speed and connection. Now, if it still didn't work, the next step is to reset your modem and router. Now, this method works for both Windows and Mac computers. All you have to do is unplug the power cord of your modem and router and wait for about 30 seconds. Then plug the power cord of your modem first and then plug the power cord of your router. Wait for your router and modem to fully initialize and then check your internet speed and connection. Now, if it still didn't work, you can move on to the next solution. Next, you can enable the Smart Queue Management feature on your Windows computer. This feature helps to improve the performance of your network adapter and it is quite simple to set up. So just open the device manager, find your network adapter, right click on it and select properties. Go to the advanced tab and check the smart queue management option. Click OK to save the changes and after that restart your computer and check your internet speed and connection. The next thing that you can do is run the network troubleshooter. Again, this works for both Windows and Mac computers. On Windows, you can open the Settings app and then click on Network and Internet. Select Advanced Network Settings and click on the Network Troubleshooter button. Click Yes when prompted for admin permission and wait for the troubleshooter to diagnose your network. Once the troubleshooting process completes, click the Fix Now button to apply any necessary fixes. Then check your internet speed and connection. Now, if you're using a Mac, you can open the system preferences and then click on network. Click on the gear icon to open the network settings window, select your active network connection and click on the assist me button. Follow the on-screen instructions to troubleshoot your network connection. Once done, check your internet speed and connection. Next, you can also disable IPv6 on your Windows computer. 
Many users have reported that disabling IPv6 helps to fix internet connection problems. So just open the network connection window, click on your network adapter, right click on it and select properties. Click on internet protocol version 6 TCP, IPv6 and select disabled. Click OK to save the changes and after that restart your computer and check your internet speed and connection. Next, you can try running a speed test. Actually, you can run a speed test from the very beginning. I recommend that you run a speed test to see whether you are getting the speed that you are paying for. You can run a speed test from a website. There are many websites available online that provide this facility and it's very easy to use. Just click on the go button and the speed test will start running. Once the test completes, you'll see your download speed, upload speed and ping. Now, if your internet speed is less than what you are paying for, then you can contact your ISP. They might be having some issues on their end and they should be able to fix it. Also, if you are facing random internet outages, then running a speed test would help you determine that as well. Now once you know that your internet speed is fine and you are getting what you are paying for, you can move on to the next solution. Now in some cases, you might be using an outdated or incompatible web browser. This can cause issues when browsing the internet and streaming online content. To fix this, try updating your web browser to the latest version or try using a different web browser altogether. Most people use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Try switching from one to another and see if that fixes your problem. Now if you're using Microsoft Edge, you can try updating it from the Microsoft Store or you can also try uninstalling it and then reinstalling it from the store. Now if you're using Mozilla Firefox, you can try updating it from the Firefox menu. Or you can also try clearing its cache and cookies. To do that, open Firefox, click on the three dots, go to Settings, Privacy and Security and click on Clear Data, select the cookies and cache and click on Clear Data, restart Firefox and check your internet speed and connection. Next, you can also try configuring your DNS settings. Actually, using a third-party DNS server can help to fix internet connection issues. So just open the network connection window, click on your network adapter, right click on it and select properties. Click on internet protocol version 4 TCP, IPv4 and select use the following DNS server addresses. Type 8.8, 8.8 and 8.8, 4.4 in the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server fields respectively. Click OK to save the changes and then restart your computer and check your internet speed and connection. Now if none of the above methods worked for you, you should probably contact your ISP and ask them to check their lines. There might be some outage or some other issue on their end and they should be able to fix it. You can also check the status of your internet service on their website or you can also contact them via social media or phone call. Now, apart from fixing the internet connection, you should also make sure that you have enabled the auto renew option on your account. Otherwise, you might lose internet connection after your billing cycle ends. So this was it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.